morning. If it's morning for you, it's morning for me. Well, no, it's not really. It's afternoon. I am not a morning person. Not one single bit, not at all. I need like two cups of coffee and I sit for about an hour or two before I can get moving. I don't know about what you do, but I call it the sit. My family, we call it the sit. You know, my dad has to do the sit. My daughter has to do the sit. A couple other family members have to do the sit in the morning. It's like in, we have this big box around us that says, do not disturb. My poor husband, he learned that quickly. He, he's not, he's a morning person. So he'll hop out of bed and it's like, what are we doing today? And I'm like, huh? What? What? I, I don't know. Well, do you want to know? I, I don't know. I, I, I need, I need just, I need to just wake up. I don't wake up easily. I could never be a fireman. By the time I got there, whatever's burning would have been burned down to the ground. All right, let's, uh, I have to go to the store today. I do have to do that. Let's go see what my husband's doing in the garage. All right, we came out to see what you're doing. What are you doing? I bought a new battery for my four-wheeler. Here a while ago. It just won't start, especially when we get cold. So this is a new battery. It comes empty. This is the battery acid. You gotta put this into there. Oh, all right. That's what I'm doing now. Okay, well hopefully the four wheel will start after this. I hope so. Because it's quite the pain having to go out and pull start every time we want to use it, and especially in winter time. I'm back from the store. There is mud everywhere everywhere we're planning on planting a garden this year I'm outside I might as well show you where we're gonna do it let me put all this stuff down I have in my hands my yard is nothing but mud look at this mud it's just mud everywhere but this is gonna be the garden spot somewhere up here We've got like this burn thing happening here. But we've got all this to do stuff with. I want to do compost and a worm farm. I'm going to start a worm farm and um, get that composted. I tried to start one last year, but since we don't have a garden and a compost yet, it didn't. I had to let the worms go. Over here we had a bunch of trees my husband cut down and I've planted tulips in through here. I'm sure they'll come. I can't wait for them to come up in the spring. But we're going to have to grind out some stumps and my husband can do that. I might be creating a problem here soon. I bought white towels. When we moved in this house I bought all white towels because I just thought it would be pretty because I have an open shelf. And so I bought white towels, which when my husband saw them said, why, why white? And I said, because they're pretty. He goes, <laughs> you realize that I work with grease all the time and he, he's a maintenance guy at work. He can like fix anything. And it's like a steel mill kind of thing. Well, Andy works in his garage all the time. So needless to say, my towels aren't white anymore. I, I shall show you. So, I mean, they're kind of white, but they're kind of not white. I don't know, they're kind of doll, doll, they're, we'll call them doll. I'll call them doll, they're doll. All right, so we have well water here. It's not bad well water, it's drinkable. I like it, I actually like it, but you know what happens when you put Clorox bleach with well water, right? I've experienced that before. When we had a house with well water we couldn't drink it was bad it was really bad so I am gonna attempt to put the Clorox bleach in with those white towels and hopefully they don't come out yellow they might come out yellow if they do we're gonna have yellow towels it's just me and my husband here and I don't care I really don't care but I just want to try this so I dumped the bleach I did I dumped the bleach on my floor I have a black floor in my laundry room and I dumped the bleach on it. Yay me. Yay me. So hopefully we'll turn you around. There you go. 
And I got a bunch of water and tried to clean it up, but are you kidding me? Now my house smells like an indoor swimming pool. Not only am I going to have probably yellow towels, I'm going to have a white floor in there. Yay me. I dumped the bleach. Well, I ended up scrubbing the whole floor. I think it'll be okay. I don't know. Now we just smell like a big old swimming pool. And the towels are in there. Spin around. Oh, I don't think they're white anymore. I don't think they're white anymore. Hopefully that... I don't know. That's why I did them all, because they'll all be one color of probably nasty yellow brown. I don't know. All right, now I'm going to make dinner. Deer meat. Deer meat. I've got, I've got a pound of deer meat out. This is how we package our deer meat. They have wild game bags. And we um, do it ourselves. My neighbor was shocked when she saw me out there cutting up the deer. I did that. And then we ground it. My parents came over. We had a big old processing party doing all this deer meat. So I am going to make spaghetti sauce out of it. Not real sauce this time because I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I bought, I've never seen this before, organic pasta sauce. I don't even know what the brand is. Wild Harvest. Wild Harvest organic pasta sauce. That's what we're doing this time. So I have to brown this meat. When we process our deer meat, we do like a quarter actual hamburger ground chuck, the cheap, the cheap one because it has more fat in it. And then we'll do the rest deer meat, like 75% deer meat. And that, it, it turns out okay. There's enough fat in it because deer meat is very lean and there's not a lot of fat in that. So I probably won't even have to drain this pan. And I disguise it well enough that you won't know it's deer meat. All right, sauce is done. Almost. Almost. And I tasted that sauce before I dumped it in there. It tastes, it tastes pretty good, actually. It tastes better than ragu, but it has a little bit of an acidy taste to it. So I'm going to leave it on low on my stove for probably hmm, two hours and stir it. And then after that, I'm going to taste it. And if it still tastes a little acidy, I'm going to add a couple pinches of baking powder. Because baking powder will take the, that acidy flavor out of your spaghetti sauce. Don't use a whole lot. Just a couple pinches. Then stir it and taste it. It'll bubble up a little bit. And um, if it still needs it, add a little more. But don't put a lot in there because it has like a salty flavor so try that well the towels are almost done and the furnace just went on can you hear it and i don't think they're brown can you see in there nope they're not brown in fact i think they might be a little whiter i wish i would have done this a long time ago hmm darn it oh well my husband just came in and said i'm going to take a bath all the towels are in the washing machine every one of them lucky him there's no towels nope no towels got a hand towel <laughs> he's getting a hand towel that's funny all right i think i'm gonna go and i will see you next time bye